to a all day What's up everybody and welcome back to another episode of 2A All Day. Today we are reviewing something from Savior Equipment. This is their Urban Warfare Double Rifle Bag. Kind of a long name, but yes, it is again the Savior Equipment Urban Warfare Double Rifle Bag. All right, uh, you can currently get these on Amazon. Uh, I actually have bought, I have four of these. I have bought all of them from Amazon um, and they ship uh, fairly quickly. Um, and this bag in particular goes for 65 to 70. Um, now there are other bags that uh, are, you know, different patterns or things like that. There are some that are camo, like this one here that are far more expensive and I think ridiculously expensive. Um, this bag actually, although it looks cool, uh, I don't think it's worth it. This bag is $100 more than this bag. So if you want camo or especially multi-cam black, you're gonna shell out $100 more for the exact same bag. Um, these are 36 inch bags. They do make several different sizes, which is nice. They go all the way up to 55 inch. This particular bag, and I'll put a, uh, a little picture up here. This little bag here um, at the 55 inch, it will cost you about $215, which I think is absolutely absurd for a soft bag. Um, for that price, you might as well go with a hard case um, and you could probably get a custom foam cutout for that price. So just be aware of that. Um, I, the only reason I bought this was because I had roughly $100 in gift cards to Amazon. And so this bag essentially came out to be the same price as that bag. So that's the only reason why I got it. If I didn't have the gift cards, probably wouldn't have bought this just because that's a lot of money. Um, Savory Equipment did not send me these bags. Again, I bought all four of them. I have no relationship with them. Um, the reason why I have four is because I really like them. All right, so we'll get into that. They're not perfect, but they are really good. All right. So let's start here. We're going to start from the front, work our way out, and then we're going to work our way in. So from the front, they have a little patch here, a little panel here of Velcro, so you can put patches on, things like that. The front, they've got a Molly webbing system here, so if you've got anything that is compatible to be attached with Molly, that's there. I don't have anything. When this bag is fully kitted out, you've got all your gear in here. This bag is actually pretty thick, and I don't want anything on top of this bag to make it even thicker. All right, uh, on either side here, we've got pockets that go in about uh, seven, eight inches or so. And uh, they're not huge, but you could fit uh, glasses, gloves. I fit extra mags in there, pistol mags, things like that. Um, you know, you could put boxes of ammo in there. So you can really find whatever you want to put in there, and that's nice. On the outside, we have pouches for typically mags. They are big enough to hold ear pro, uh, which I do like. So that's nice. Uh, you can typically fit um, three or four AR-15 mags in here, usually four. Uh, I can fit four, maybe five CZ Scorpion mags in here. And you can even fit up to four um 45 mags in here, which is nice. They accommodate for that. As you can see, there's some Velcro here that will attach here. And then for more retention and more security, you do have the clip right there. Okay, moving up here, we do have um, a strap that is Velcro. You've got clips that come over top that can secure the opening even further. You have metal rings right here that you can actually attach a longer strap to if you wanna carry it over the shoulder, more like a, uh, a purse, <laughs> I guess. Um, and then the zippers are also really nice. They're very smooth. They don't snag or anything like that. The other thing that's really nice too is that they are compatible for, I don't know if you can get a good look, they are compatible for a lock, which is good because you're gonna have some expensive stuff in this bag and it's always good that you have that option to lock it up. So it's not as easy to get to. Okay, moving on to the front pocket here. Clamshell opening, okay, you've got a lot of space in here. 
You've got some nice mesh material. It's actually double woven, so it de definitely makes it a little bit stronger and gives it almost a, a, a rigidness to it. Now, I haven't really field tested this. I haven't tried to get anything snagged on it. I haven't tried to scrape it up to see how abrasion resistant it is or snag resistant it is, but it is double woven. Uh, and I do like that they put the thought into that because I mean, we know how mesh is, you know, how easily it can be torn. And so this is nice. Um, you could put anything in here. You could put guns in here. You could put ammo in here. Again, eye pro, ear pro. Right now, I, it, I don't really have anything in here. I have a microfiber cloth for my optics. And then I have a little five milliliter syringe for water if I want to shoot my suppressor wet. All right. From here, these two pockets here are actually meant to accommodate handguns. So I don't know if you can get a look in there. And uh, the Velcro is really strong, and uh, which is good because, you know, if you're putting guns in here, you definitely want good retention. The problem, though, is that if you're running a kind of a fully modded, fully kitted out nine, Glock 19 uh, or anything bigger than that, it's going to be a very snug fit. I have a Glock 19. I've got a Trigicon RMR on there, an extended mag, a Surefire flashlight, and then a KKM compensator that extends the length of the gun by probably about an extra inch. Uh, it does fit in this sleeve, but it is very tight. And if you have anything bigger, like a Glock 17 or a Glock 34 or a 1911, it actually won't fully fit, and it's going to stick out a little bit, and then it's going to overlap the velcro and then the velcro will essentially be useless at that point because it's not going to be able to attach to the hook and loop system on the other side so that is something to think about if you've got really small subcompact or compact weapons you know like a glock 43 or something like that you could probably fit two on each side which is nice but any larger handgun maybe an fn57 uh, probably won't fit as securely as I would like or as you would like. So that is a con, in my opinion, for this. Okay, moving on here. Uh, we're going to go to the back now. So the one thing that I do really like is that it comes with backpack straps. So if you're like me and if you go to the range, you might want to shoot a little bit of everything. Or if you're taking people, I'm taking all... X amount of my weapons that I have, <laughs> which is a lot. Um, and it's always good to just have the option of having at least one bag on your back so you don't have three or four double rifle cases in each hand, uh, which can be a bit ridiculous. Now, these can be stowed away, which is good. So if you don't want this to be flopping around and get caught on stuff, there are two sleeves here that can be closed with zippers, and you can actually put this gear into the sleeves and get it out of the way, which is really nice. Now, the one thing that I did notice, though, is that when I have two guns in here and I've got it full of gear, all of that gear is pressing against this material, and it is damn near impossible to get these shoulder straps into this sleeve. So just be aware of that. If you don't plan on using this backpack, Put these in and stow these away before you have stuff in there, or else it's going to be very hard for you to do. Okay. But the straps are really nice. They're nice and thick. Um, they've got some loops here so you can attach whatever to, and they've got nice breathable webbing material, mesh material on the back, and the padding is good. If for whatever reason you're carrying this bag for a longer period of time, they actually do have a cross strap here. All right, for better weight distribution, which is nice. I like that as well. Okay, there are two straps on either side. Um, I don't believe they're made of leather. I think it's just probably some sort of synthetic rubberized material, but the stitching is really good. The craftsmanship is really nice, and they are really durable. All right, um, so there's that. All right, moving to the inside now. All right, so this is a double rifle mag. So we've got one side here. Uh, both sides are the same, so they'll have two straps here, Velcro straps with retention. These are about an inch, inch and a quarter wide, so that's nice. They're not some flimsy little straps. You also have some triangle uh, sleeves here, again, just for retention. 
And then if you go to the other side, they're actually separated by this padded sleeve. This sleeve is uh, maybe about a quarter inch and it just attaches via Velcro. And you can easily take it out if you're trying to save on space and if you're only running one gun. If you're running two guns, absolutely run this so they don't scrape up against each other and destroy one another's uh, finishes. And then on the other side, same thing. Now on this side though, I don't know why it's on, not on both, um, but uh, uh, it, it will definitely protect on all sides once you zip it up. But there is, again, another quarter inch to half inch padding that goes all along the sides and the top here. So if you do bump it up against something, um, you know, either on top or on the sides, you do have that padding. There's no padding underneath, uh, which I think is a little bit weird because you would think, you know, you're, you're setting it down. So you would think there'd be padding on the bottom, uh, but maybe they just, you know, there wasn't enough room for that. Uh, there's a little bit of padding uh, on the backing here. All right, so for the most part, you're other than maybe the very bottom uh, of the bag here, you've got padding on all sides, which is really nice. You know, you, these guns might be very expensive. You want to keep them protected. Okay, so those are the reasons, the main reasons why I have chosen and invested in four of these. Um, I think this is a really good bag. Again, depending on how Gucci you want to go. Like with this one, uh, you know, you might be dropping 150 to $220, and that's on you. Um, but, you know, it's a free country. Do whatever you want. Okay, uh, I think that's the end of this review. If you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Uh, and, uh, you know, if, if you have any questions about this or if I, you know, got anything wrong, please leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.